Ngagwe dragged to court. Fire top judge Justice Erika Ndua has resuscitated her challenge over her unlawful dismissal from office in 2021 by dragging President Emerson Uningagwa to court. Ndua was fired by Uningagwa after a tribunal set up to investigate her recommended that she be dismissed for gross incompetence. The judge was accused by the Judicial Service Commission of wrongly quashing a prison sentence imposed on a thief and taking too long to deliver judgments. However, Ndua claimed that she was being victimized for resisting Chief Justice Luke Malaba's interference. In her submission, Ndua cited Umningagwa as the respondent, arguing that he failed to fulfill a constitutional obligation enshrined in Section 1878 when he removed her from the office of a judge on account of the invalid unlawful recommendations of the Simbi Maboko Tribunal. She also argues that Umningagwa did not file an opposing affidavit, dismissing the one filed by Justice, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Minister Ziambi Ziambi as inadmissible hearsay. He Umningagwa cannot delegate this responsibility in such serious matters taking into account that the constitutional obligation enshrined in Section 1878 of the Constitution is specific and one which is only exercisable by him. Consequently, there is no valid opposing affidavit before the court, the application read. In any event, the opposing affidavit purportedly deposed to by Ziambi Ziambi constitutes inadmissible hearsay. Ziambi Ziambi is the Minister of Legal and Parliamentary Affairs. He does not share the constitutional obligation enshrined in Section 1878 of the Constitution with the President. He does not know what the President received read and considered when he removed me from office. Only the president does and no affidavit confirming the averments in Ziambi Ziambi's affidavit. Therefore, his affidavit is inadmissible hearsay. In terms of the rules, only a deponent who can swear positively as to the facts can make an affidavit and Ziambi Ziambi, who could not have been lawfully involved in the entire process. Cannot, therefore, swear positively to the averments he has made. Ndua argues that Umningagwa deliberately misconstrued Proclamation 3 of 2021, which gave the Simbi Maboko Tribunal an option to extend its lifespan by a further six months after swearing in of members. Ndua says Umningagwa acted on invalid recommendations in her dismissal. Applicant was discriminated against when SI, statutory instrument, 10712 was not followed in her case. But SI 107 of 12 was used by the Chief Justice to appoint a panel of judges to investigate male colleagues Justice Benjamin Bay, Justice Webster Chinhamora and Justice Thompson Mabikwa. She averred in her submissions. Applicant was discriminated against when she was singled out for charges for misconduct for breaching Section 19-1 of Statutory Instrument 10712. But no other judge who had not completed reviews of reserve judgments within three months was charged for misconduct. Justice Benjamin Chikawero expressed surprise in his court judgment when he recused himself from hearing my case. That he was seeing his name in a memorandum dated February 6, 2019, along with my name and other judges for allegedly not completing his work, but he was never charged and no one ever spoke to him about it. Other 17 judges who were mentioned in several memoranda along with me were never charged for gross misconduct, Ndua submitted. Ndua was suspended in 2020 before her dismissal the following year after granting bail to then MDC Alliance Deputy Chairperson Job C. Collar. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.